Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be reacting to your collections. So let's get started. Alright guys, so I actually asked a lot of you guys on Instagram to send them in to toppopsvids at gmail.com and we got in about 700 entries. Now what's going to happen here though is, and you said I should probably mention this, next time we're announcing the video, um, then I'm going to be doing a part three to this, I'll put it up on my Instagram and Twitter so you guys can send them in then and that way, you know, I'm not getting them in say maybe a month in advance or two weeks in advance, whenever I'm going to do the next one and then I might miss them. So I'll be announcing it on my Twitter and my Instagram which are both linked in the description down below. Um, so if you guys want to, you know, keep up updated with this one because so the next time you do it so the next time you do it we'll make the announcement again so yes if you didn't get in this video don't be disappointed we'll do more Yes, of course. So, like I said, we had about 700 entries here. I've combed it down um, to as many as I possibly could put in this video, but we can't show off all of them. But anyways, let's get started with the first one. All right, guys, so this first one here is coming in from Alejandro, and um, he has a really great collection here. So, it says here that he focuses mostly on anime, um, and I can totally see that. He's got a lot of My Hero as well as Dragon Ball, um, which look really, really great. He's got some other statues, too, I see. He does. He has some other ones that are some Dragon Ball statues I can see on Noah the uh, right ones. side. Yeah, yeah. Noah does of a couple More of realistic those. looking ones, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean realistic in terms of the anime, anime of course. Anime, but yeah, yeah. Um, I also see some really great ones. Who's this one up here? Is that Crypto the Super Dog? It nice. is. That's a great figure. Um, I can also see some ad icons up top there, and it looks like he does display in box as well as out of box, which is always great um, because it's nice to see both. I do mostly in box because of room um, and how much room I have here, but um, out of box also looks really great because you really get to appreciate what the figure looks like. But anyways, Alejandro, thank you so much for sending this in. Okay, our next one's coming in from Mariana. It says, hi Tristan, how are you doing? My name is Mari and I live in Brazil. I've been watching your videos for a year now. Wow. Love your Funko Pop hunts and the fact that your parents are really supportive. Hmm, nice. <laughs> Here in Brazil, Funko Pops are really hard to find. We don't have any Targets or Hot Topics mm. or GameStops. Usually I buy my Funko Pops from the Funko Pop Facebook groups that I'm in. And boy, these things are expensive over here. The regular ones cost about 20 Canadian dollars plus shipping. That is crazy. That is crazy. Uh, but we do have a couple collection photos here. So the first one I want to start with here is a really nice clean setup. And I really like when people do this. Mm -hmm. I can see here, I don't know which one of these ones is. It's one of the Pop Asia ones, Pr Princess Sapphire, mm -hmm. um, which looks really cool. I've never seen that one before. But then she also has Taurus as well as the MTV Moon person, right. as well as some other figures here as well. Now these ones here in the bottom right side, right above the... Uh, collection of VHS. I don't know who, I know what this is. The Rescuers? The Rescuers, that's yeah, what it is. I love I that. I don't remember their name. No, I don't either. But um, it does a really, it is You a don't really have good. that one. No, that, what happened with that one was I was getting, it's part of the Disney Treasures box. I was oh. supposed to get that one in, but the last one they did before they canceled it, you had to go in and manually order it, oh. and we forgot to do it. Yeah. So I never did get that one. I would love to pick that one up eventually, maybe it's even nice. just get the whole box. I love that one. Yeah, yeah I missed cute. it though. And then I also know she had one more photo here wow. with a really clean setup. Really nice. Those are cool shelves. They almost look like a store. Yeah, I really like the LED uh, lights on that one. It makes it really show. It it really Beautiful. shows off the pops. Yeah, really nice. Oh, oh, and she's taking them and put them in front of each box. Yes. Um, I have seen some people display them like that. I also noticed the entire Friends set up in the top right. I think it's the old ones as well. It is the old ones too, mm -hmm. so that's really nice. Um, yeah, just a really great collection in general. Yep, I like that idea. Yeah, that's cool. looks good. Okay, guys, so this next one is coming in from Stanley, and this one says some of my favorite pops. Um, that's all he said, but this is really cool. I wanted to put this one in because he has a signed football there, and I'm guessing it's signed by both Derek Carr and Bo Jackson, Possibly. who are the two football players that he has there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not uh, sure it if it is. could be other players as well. He clearly is a Raiders fan. Yes, and it's, he's got the little mini Raiders football up there, as well as the full-sized one signed by somebody, two of them, so that's why I'm guessing it's both of them. I can't really tell by the signature. It said number 23. 23. Neither one of no. them are 23. Hmm. So Anyways, cool. guys, very cool. If you guys are a Raiders fan, let us know in the comment section below who those are signed by because I can't tell. But it looks like this could be a Super Bowl one too because it yeah, has it the Roman numerals on there. Yes. I think it could be. But anyways, Stanley, that's a really cool football and two great pops. Okay, the next one comes in from Billy. It says, I've been collecting since a month and a half. Wow. And I've already got 55 pops. And I also make custom Funko Pops of my karate teachers. Wow. P.S. I love, I really love your channel and continue with great success. Thank That's you so much, Billy. Billy. 
Um, I did notice this one here. It's a uh, Kayoshi, which is really cool. And it seems like this is somebody who is at um, his dojo, I'm guessing, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I also awesome. do karate, which is actually really cool. Um, that's funny that you do that. But um, down here, I did notice he has a collection. I also, I wanted to point out the shoes at the top there. He's got these SpongeBob um, Nikes right there, which yeah, look really, really super great. Cool. Um, I wanted to pick those ones up when uh, they did come out, but I never did. I don't know why. It's mostly because I don't wear basketball shoes that often, mm -hmm, but I would nice. love to have them. Beautiful. Um, I did notice he's got some of the Simpsons trios of horror ones, as well as the Naruto set. Is there anything here that you see that kind of stands I, out? I like the Coca-Cola bear, I was, for I sure. I thought you'd say that. Yeah. And who's the bottom one, that, that kind of alligator-looking frog one? one? I don't frog? remember his name. He's from Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, it's a happy, happy frog. frog. Cool. Have you heard anybody talk about that one? I know you're a teacher, so maybe nope, some of the Five nope. Nights at Freddy's ones. No, nope, but I notice he has quite a few Five Nights at Freddy's there at the bottom. Couple? Yeah, there's two, two of them down there. So he's got the Funtime Freddy. Oh, as well as Ballora, Ballora there as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, I think I have the Ballora Chase. I don't know if I still have that one, but it is a really cool figure. The way they did the open mouth ones with the yeah, chases were really weird, um, but I had to pick them up. For sure. Yeah, great collection. Thanks for sharing with us. Yeah, thanks, Billy. Billy. Okay, the next one's coming in from Leah. It says, hi, I'm Leah, and I'm from Hertfordshire in the UK. This is my pop collection. I currently have 130 pops, four pop keychains, one fabrication, and the Marvel Advent Calendar minifigures. I have a few pre-ordered and got some on the way as well. Since I started collecting one and a half years ago, I've wanted to get all the Spider-Man pops available. Wow. I currently have 41 with 30 to go. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. I really enjoy watching your videos. They're awesome. Thank you so much. Now, one thing I did UK. notice, I see this photo here, and this looks like most of this, the um, Spider-Man ones here. I'm seeing a lot of older, rarer ones. Now, mm -hmm. I want to know, if you're watching, comment down below, are you collecting just specifically Spider-Man, or like, is it also like Spider-Man Far From Home figures as well, mm -hmm. and stuff like that? And like the other characters in the movie, you mean like, yeah, not just I mean. the Spider-Man? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, because I'd love to see that because I do see a couple others here that are on the side um, such as like the other ones from like Marvel and stuff like that. I know there are other movies as well. Like an example is though he's in Endgame. Are you collecting all of the Endgame figures which because would be very crazy. Because part of Spider-Man right? Yes okay. technically. Something like that or even just the Spider-Man movie ones because those look really great though. Other than that though I love the prints in the middle. Um, the four of them there I know it's Loki, Captain America, there is Spider-Man but I can't tell who the bottom left one is. I think, oh, it's Bucky. That's a really cool one. So anyways, a and really- she's got the big ones, the 10, 10 inch ones up top. Yes. Are they 10 or six? Those are the 10 inch ones up there. So it'd be Thanos, the Thanos, both Thanos ones. Cool. Um, as well as I also noticed the Spider-Man and it's spider Buggy. That's a really great figure as well. Um, but overall, Lee, a really great collection. This next one comes in from Todd and it says, here are some of the photos of my collection. A lot of them are from when I went to the Funko HQ and fun fact, I got flocked Snoopy. That is now worth over $125 Canadian for only $4 on Kijiji. Wow. That is, wow. Lucky, lucky. That is a great deal. Yeah. I also got the Monkey Bombs, the Silver Surfer, the G.I. Joe Pops, and the rest of the Peanuts for $4 each on Kijiji. I would wow. say Kijiji is one of those ones that's kind of like, you never if know. you find the right buyer or the right seller, seller. I guess you could yeah. say, um, in your area, you could get some really great stuff for a great deal because it's pretty much like a garage sale and on they there. don't maybe they know it's worth something but not how much or even like you just bought this figure at like say walmart you saw it there and then you're yeah. like well we don't need it anymore so yeah. you just put it on kijiji for four bucks because it's like a little you know figure or whatever not everybody knows but he said thanks for checking out my collection i hope to see it in the video and here it is there guys it is. in the video Todd. so let's check out these this photos um, we've got Poe with hat. That's a great figure. Um, I also see you've got a couple of Jay Buhner. So it looks like you went to the baseball game, um, which is really awesome. We also went to that game. So I wonder if we were there yeah, at the same I'm sure time. Yeah, we were. So this person, he talks about Canadian. So maybe he's from like Vancouver. Or that could Columbia be. That could be because it's right yeah. nearby the right Funko nearby, HQ. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Ooh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That entire set up there. I like I how also... he's done it on the wall like that. That's neat. Yeah, the wall does look great, especially with, the... I mean, here's the thing, guys. You got to use what space you've got. That's mm -hmm. especially with me as it's well. A good shelf. Um, so it's a really great way to do it. Kind of like, it's probably like, I'm guessing, is this over stairs, like on a landing or something like that? Yeah. Because it always seems like that whenever Or a stairs. roof. It could be the top of the house, too. Could be. Could yeah. be. Cool. Um, I'm looking for the Snoopy one. Oh, there it is right there. So it's the Underground Toys one. So that was the um, UK sticker. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why it was a little bit cheaper because it didn't technically have the ECCC one on there, but it's still worth the same price. Oh my price. gosh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. it's a totally awesome figure. But anyways, Todd, thanks so much for sending this in. This looks great. Our next one comes in from Dylan. Hi, Tristan. My name is Dylan and I live in Florida. 
I've been a huge fan of the channel and I've been collecting for four years. I would love it if you showed my collection in your video tomorrow. Here are some pictures. Sweet, Dylan. So yeah, for sure. Let's check this out here. So I see a lot of ad icons. Yeah. Um, and you guys know I'm a huge fan of them. I wonder if there's any that I don't have. Let's I see, see the three silver pack. Is that those um, the Mickey the Mouse ones? ones or something? Is no. That these ones here? Yeah. The silver one? No, that is the Mickey Mouse one. That was an Amazon oh. exclusive that came with the t-shirt. Nice. I do have that one as well. That one is a great figure. Yeah. Um, you've got all three of the Smokey the Bears. I see that. Love those ones. Um, I also see Mr. Owl as well. Now if we go into the next photo here, there's a bunch of them as well. Odie! Okay, I love Odie. The Garfield ones are great. Odie mm -hmm. is one of those ones that I feel like is being slept on right now. I feel like that one will get more expensive in the future, yeah. only because they're making obscure. so many more Garfields than they are Odies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, they've never made another Odie, but they've only made one, or no, yeah, they've one, made one Odie, and they've made three Garfields now, so yeah. I feel like people are gonna see the Garfields and then want Odie in the future, so sure. I don't know. I feel like that one could get expensive, but I do see, like, Oodles here, scooby Dumb, some really great exclusives, as well as the Light Up Iron Man, mm -hmm. which is really, really great, and then in this last photo here, oh, um, oh, all the of the trolls. trolls. Gotta I love them. Does he have them all? Is there a pink one? Um, there is. I, that's actually one of the WonderCon ones that I don't have in yet. That was in right. my box, oh, okay. so that should be coming soon. And it's got a lot of 10 inch ones, right? Got the uh, Pokemon ones. I'm a big fan of those ones. Mm -hmm. uh, Kool Aid well. Man, I see back there. Oh, yeah, I do and, see Kool Aid Man. Um, he's Captain Crunch. As well as some of the pop around the world. You've got Finley and Ozzy. Both of those ones are cool. stuck at the post office for me right now. Yeah, they will be coming in eventually when we can go get them at the post office. But for right now, they're stuck there. Great collection, Dylan. Yeah, it looks really, really great. Okay, our next one comes in from Gavin. Looks like he has a lot of great figures. I see a lot of trolls. Does he have the pink one or is that the orange one? That is the orange. No, there's a pink one. There's a pink troll. The pink one, yeah, the pink one nice. looks really great. Yeah. I also like the green one. That was Emerald City Comic Con. Haven't got that one in yet either. That's one of those ones that's kind of stuck at the post office. Yes. Um, but you have a really great set of uh, pops here. I also see the golden Indiana Jones 10 inch. He has my favorite Batman. Which one? The teal chrome. Oh, I actually have that one right here. Fun yeah, fact. That's so a that one is a pop. great pop. Yeah. I am a huge fan of this teal chrome Batman. Yeah, it looks I love really it. good. It's my favorite color. Um, I remember this was shared with EB Games in Canada, and this was one of those ones that we got. Um, we got more than one. Well, what happened was we went to Fan Expo Canada. They actually have an EB Games booth there that's like mm -hmm. pretty much an entire store in the mm -hmm. convention, which is really crazy that they do that. And uh, they actually had that one there, and they were selling it for, I think it was $10, like a little bit yeah. cheaper than normal, yeah. um, which was really crazy. But yeah, you've got a really great collection here, Gavin. And then there's also another photo here. They look like to be up at the top. Yeah. Um, a lot of ad icons. I think these are all your ad icons, maybe it looks like, because there's like Milton the Toaster mm -hmm. I see, the 10-inch Frankenberry, as well as the 10-inch oh, nice. uh, Captain it's Crunch on the side. got 10-inch ones on the edges. Yeah, that looks really good. And I love that shelf. It's like, it's like pipe. Yes, I didn't even notice that. So yeah. it's like a nice wooden shelf um, Held with up these by pipes. pipes. And I wonder if you could go all the way around. I bet he could. Oh, that could be cool. Neat. Very cool. Anyways, Gavin, great collection. Okay, our next one's coming in from Theo from Moscow, Russia. Wow. So he started collecting figures this January. Oh my gosh. And he already has 40 in his collection. He recently ordered nine more and he hopes they will arrive soon. Nice. I wonder if his mail is slow like ours, probably. It might be. You I, never know. I think my favorite figures are the NYCC 2019 Iron Man or Taskmaster, maybe. Thank you for this opportunity to show my collection and stay safe. Thank you so much, um, Theo. So let's take a look at this here. I did notice on the left side there, there's the Taskmaster. Now, the other one that he said was the Iron Man. That is a great one as well. I'm a huge fan of that one. It's got a lot of great detail on it. Mm -hmm. It's the one, you know the one I have, it. it's him holding the Infinity, or the Nano Gauntlet yes. um, in front of him, which looks really great. You've got some cool exclusives there as well. I'm sure in Russia, there are some different places that sell exclusives, and I you wonder. might even get weirder ones in as well. So if there's any weird ones, um, let us know. Like I do see you've got some of the Amazon exclusives. I wonder if that's easier to get there I wonder. Um, than it would be here. I mean, Amazon's usually pretty easy in terms of just if you pre-order it, um, you know, you can usually get them in. But sometimes there are some hard ones on some websites like Amazon and uh, even like GameStop and stuff like that, they sell out really mm -hmm. quickly. So I wonder if you get ones in that are maybe like a couple months older that might be more expensive. I wonder if they're easier. Ones that are harder here might be easier for them. Right. I wonder. I also did notice down here that is Stan Lee has another sticker on there. I don't know what that sticker is, hmm. um, but I would love to know. So if yeah, you're watching, orange, orange. Theo, let us know in the comment section below because I want to know where that's exclusive to. What's that big one at the top there? That's that, um on the right side, oh, yeah. out of the box. Yeah, that's Deadpool. And that is that a 10 that inch? was a ten inch Walmart exclusive here. I don't know where it would be exclusive to in Russia. We didn't get it. Do you have that? One? No, that no. was the one that came out on Black Friday, and oh, it was super right. tough to get yes, it. Yes, I yes. just couldn't find it. Yeah, I've never seen it before. No, that was the one where we went, and they were supposed to have these big like yes. carts of them yes. or whatever, yes. and we just couldn't find it. But no. still. 
This is an amazing collection. Thanks for sharing. Yes. This one's coming in from Miles, and he says, Hi Tristan, I really enjoy watching your videos, and I wanted to send these pictures in for your collection to feature in the video part two. I have about 150 items in my collection. My favorite pop in the collection is the Pillsbury Doughboy with Shamrock Cookie. That is a great pop. It is. Uh, because you gave it to me when I met you at the Funko HQ. Oh! oh that's nice. cool. Oh, were they the brothers? There was, there was like a family? Maybe it was. I remember, because yes. what happened... What had happened was there was uh, somebody there and we were talking for a little bit outside of the store and then when it came to it, I remember I, I think I gave it to you um, while we were there because, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted to give it to someone um, that would appreciate it instead yes. of just giving it to, you know, maybe a random putting guy. Putting it back on the shelf. Putting it back on yeah. the shelf and then maybe some flipper got it. I don't know. Um, but it seemed like you yeah. really enjoyed it. So I do see it here, guys. And it says his most expensive pop is the Mickey Mouse in Matterhorn bobsled yes. that he found at the Funko HQ the day after New York Comic-Con. That's Comic -Con. very lucky. The HQ is crazy for stuff like this and yes. I want to show these ones off. So there is the one. This is the exact one that I handed to Miles, which is really awesome. I hope, I think he drew pictures for us. I think you did. Was it, yeah. there, could, there could have been that one, because it was him and a couple brothers. I think it was. Miles, if you're watching, let, let us, us know. Let us know in the comments. Yes, yes. Please. I also see this one here. So this is the Matterhorn bobsled. I have the one with the Yeti, but this one is even rarer. That's, this one yeah, has the special. one with Mickey. This one's limited to 1,500 pieces. You were lucky. Very yes, lucky. Yes, that one's really crazy. I also see the rest of your collection here. Um, looks really great. You've got a lot of great figures. I love the oh, way you do it, the shelf the above shelves. the window. I know windows can be hard sometimes when you've got a huge collection like this. Right. You want to put shelves in front of it, but you also need light in your yeah. room. So it's, it's a toss up. What do you want to be able to see? Or do you want some more pops there? Yeah, for sure. Um, That's cool. What's it got hanging down there? Is that? I think this is, his, I think it's a light. His, maybe it's a light. Maybe a camera. maybe um, to hold your phone Your phone? Oh, film? that could be a phone That's mount. very cool. Um, that's really cool for if you want to film like drawings and stuff like that. Because I, I think like there it. is some art on the table there. See, I, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Anyways, Miles, a really great collection. I'm glad you're enjoying the Pillsbury Doughboy. Okay, next one coming in from Addison. Hey, Tristan, here are a few of my photos of my collection. My most expensive pop I have is Marty McFly on Hoverboard. That's a good one. Worth about $100. I only paid 40 at a second and Charles for it. My collection is mostly Toy Story, American History, Spider-Man Far From Home, and Back to the Future. Everything else is between... In, in between is just pop culture, no pun intended, or nostalgic things I'm interested in. My favorite set has to be the American history as I am a high school history and math teacher. Super nice. cool. Keep up the videos. Your friend, Addison. Thank you so much, Addison. Now, I did notice there was a lot of great figures here. The first one here, I like yeah, the way I you like did it, that. like almost like in a pyramid there. Um, that looks really great as well. Some of the older McDonald's Happy Meal toys, I think that is in the bottom there. And he's got some of the Ad Icon minis, right? Yes, mm -hmm. those look really great. Those. I actually just finished the set for that one. It was really tough to get, and it looks like you've got most of them here. I agree. Look, all the bottom and then up the side, Ooh, too. Ooh, he even has the one. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut it off there. But he even has the one in 72 Fruit Brute, nice. which is a really hard one to get. Nice. Um, and I also noticed some other stuff there. You've got, like, the uh, Buzz Lightyear figure, um, which is really, really great. Um, and I also noticed the Marty McFly here, which is the one you were talking about. That is the fun exclusive one. I believe it's called Fun House is the website, mm -hmm. and that is their only exclusive, and they got him a great one. It's him floating on the hoverboard. And I noticed you, you, you didn't know what Second and Charles was. It's a store oh. um, that, like, you can almost, like bring in your collection and they'll buy it for a cheaper price and okay. then they'll sell it. They do oh, it with a bunch nice. of stuff like movies yeah. and like collectibles yeah. and stuff like cool. that. Um, I've seen, there was maybe Wasatch Pop went to one one time, I think mm -hmm. it was, something like that. Um, and then I also noticed here you've got some of the Spider-Man Far From Home as well as the uh, Michael Jordan um, giant 10 inch one there. That looks really great. It does. And then here's your favorite collection here with the American History ones. I mm -hmm. think this is all of them now that I'm looking at it as well as Edgar Allan Poe there, um, which is a really Uncle great Sam. collection. Yeah. Crossing the Delaware. That's a good one, too. Yeah, the Crossing the Delaware one was a great one. They had does a lot of Does he have ones. the Kennedys? Yeah. Yes. He does. I see Jackie. Jackie. I don't know. Do I see? Yeah, I see um, JFK there. Yeah, all of them look really Super great. cool, yeah. It's funny. The John F. Kennedy one is shot up to like $30 to $40 now. I don't know why, because I can still find it at stores. Uh, but yeah, it's still a great one. I wonder if he ever brings them to school when he... Don't Maybe. Talk to us. I don't know. Super cool. Thanks, yeah. Addison. Yeah, thanks. Okay, guys, this next one's coming in from Anthony, and it says, Fun fact, my Funko Pop shelf can hold more than 150 pops. I couldn't think of another fact. Completely fine, Anthony, but let's take a look at this photo here. Wow. Great. Yeah. Um, this is a huge collection here. Um, I like the way, you know, it's funny. It looks like there's so much stuff there, and that's what I love about the collection, especially when you've got so many uh, different things about and each out character. out of box. Look at, they're all yes. out of box, which is so much fun. I see some Amiibos in there. I see some of the uh, Thanos figures up top there, as well as the mm -hmm. Infinity Gauntlet is really great. If you scroll down a little bit. Oh, he's got the Funko here. HQ. Yes, the Funko HQ is another awesome one. Oh, he's got awesome that one. Amiibo stand like Noah has. That's what I was looking at there yeah. earlier, because I saw the Pac-Man. There is Mewtwo. 
Um, as well as a bunch of other ones. Tom I see Nook. Tom Nook, as well as Isabel. Um, and if we scroll down a little bit more, there's some really, really great figures here. I though. agree. I also noticed the uh, pop shelf. Okay, so my favorite part of this room, I think, has to be the shelf. Yes. The shelf with the pops on it. Right. Because, well, I was going to say, there's so many different shelves right, in there. Right, exactly. But you've ne I've never seen a shelf not, that was, it must be custom, because the, the distance for each shelf is so small. Like, right. perfectly for pop size. Which hmm. I, I'd love to know what it was. Like, did they make it? Well, like, I've seen, like, CD cases like this, but not that thin because no, it's also not that deep either where cds are kind of like a square this seems more like a like a rectangled shaped thing would fit there i need um, to know so this, anthony yeah. if you made this custom let us know yeah, i'd love to know how you cool. did it yeah um i also noticed uh, before we go into the next one guys the spider-man hanging from the ceiling there i think nice that's touch. really funny yeah. um it's a great touch but anyways anthony great collection and i love that there's a lot of them out of the box yes out of box stuff does look nice it does but it must be a hassle to dust them it must yes all right, guys, this next one's coming in from Matt, and it says, Hello, my name is Matt. Here are some pictures of my Funko collection. Recently, I've been collecting a lot of the soda figures. I've been collecting since around 2015. My favorite pop is Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Sorry for the glare on some of the pictures. Completely fine. Um, but let's go through these here, guys. I do see he's got some Hot Wheels cars down there, yeah. as well as a huge, huge wall of pops there. And I love the way he did it, how they're just stacked on top of each other. I've always wanted to do it like that, uh, but I'm always afraid they're going to fall. But it looks like they seem to be pretty sturdy in uh, your collection here. But again, I love the soda figures. I also see a bunch so of the chases. So he's done them in those boxes from Michael. Yes. That looks, looks really like great. like the one without the light. It looks like he has... I'd like to know, maybe he can tell us in the comments, if it's the light up one or if it's the baseball bat one. It looks like this is probably just the baseball bat one because mm -hmm. the light up one I think is a little bit thicker than this one. But either way, guys, this one looks amazing. Mm -hmm. I love the way you did this. I also like the Mickey Mouse ears yeah, nice up top touch. there as well. Love it. Um, you've got a lot of the WonderCon as well as Emerald City Comic Con sodas in there as well, which look great. I Some haven't got chases, them in yet. He's got the, the Batman chase. Oh yeah, the Golden Batman chase. And then I also the green see Green Batman. Is that in a new one? Um, that one there was an Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. Okay. I think there was also a pink chase to that one, but it looks like he mm -hmm. got just the common on that one. Still yeah. a great character. Looks great. Um, I also noticed that he has the Frankenberry chase as well as the that Crusader one, yeah. Rabbit yeah. Yeah. chase. And I think mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, that Skeletor is also a chase as well. It might be. I'm not exactly Wait, sure. Wait, now, and isn't he the chase? The Frankenberry? Oh, you said Frankenberry, did I you? Did, I did, Because he's the brown. Yeah, he's yeah, that one looks good. Yeah, super cool. Um, but yeah, you can see he's got some really, wow. really great pops in this collection. It's a huge one. We're not going to be able to go through all of them, guys, just because of how many there are. But it does look great. Got the great kazoo. Yeah. Okay, our next one's coming in from Serena, and she's from Boston, Massachusetts, which I think um, Funko Pop Academy are from there. I believe so, yeah. Cool. My most expensive pop is the 2017 Vaulted Julian Edelman? Edelman? Edelman. Oh, from the New England yeah, Patriots. Patriots, which is worth $80. Nice. I love your videos, and I can't wait to see more in the future. Well, thank you so great. much for sending this in. Mm-hmm. Um, I see a lot of really great figures yes. here, and this seems like one of those rooms that you've turned into a Funko Pop room. I would agree. I like the four square one down there, how she's done that. Oh yeah, with the that's larger really figures, because cool. the larger figures are hard to display sometimes. Yeah. So I think that's really great. It's I can like also one in see... Each. It's cool. Yeah, I also see the Patriots figures down here. I, I don't know which one is the one that's the most expensive. It's in there somewhere. Um, I, I, I can't see the names, and a lot of them do look very similar because they are all football ones, but I can tell you're a big fan of the Patriots. And so she got really one of those great. shelves. Oh you know, yes, like that's Target one of those ones or... that you can find at like Target or something. Yeah, so that's a score as well. Yeah, a lot of really great figures here. I also noticed the uh, Futura ones on the side there. The off, the it's the off-world Jawa, I think it is, as well as the um, Stormtrooper Trooper. and R two D two. All look really great. You also have the Funko HQ. That's R two D two. That does not look like R two D two. Yeah, what they did was they well, he does the different he's designs. Got the different on them, shape right? though, even he seems like no. more square. No, 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 he's a good one. I got him right there. See? Oh yeah, true, true. Okay, so it's him with then... the one uh, wheel out. That's what it is. I see. She also has the HQ. Yes. I'm looking for yes. that in everyone's. If you have the HQ, I think that's a good collection in our box. Anyways, and the HQ is such Wonka. a detailed Willy one. Willy Wonka. Look, Tina. Yes. That is good a good one. one as well. Also out of oh, box. Oh, I like how she did that. Do you see what she did? So she didn't have enough room to have three of them on that one shelf. Oh. So she did two and then turned the box and took it out. That's a good way to I do like it. it. If you guys ever have not enough room to keep them in box. You got to be you know, creative. Yeah, you got to change it up a little bit. And I do like the way that looks. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Thanks for sharing. Great collection. Yeah, I love it. This next one comes in from Jordan. It says, Hi Tristan, I've been watching your channel for quite a few months now, and I've been collecting a little bit longer than that. I currently have 184 Funko products. Pretty much all pops, but a couple others like Pez, Mini, shirts, etc. I would love it if you reviewed the collection. It would be amazing. I also just started an Instagram page for my pops under JT Pops. Guys, go check them out. JT.pops? Is there a Yeah, JT.pops, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
I can't wait to see the videos and here's my collection. So the first thing Jordan. I noticed here, Jordan, um, was the amazing Star Wars ones you've got on the top here. You've got the General Grievous worth 95, the Freddy Funko and C-3PO, which is really limited. I think that one's limited to 520 pieces. I just That's checked. A nice one. Um, all of these ones are actually super rare. I don't know what the C-3PO Freddy is worth, mm -hmm. um, but it's probably something like two to three hundred dollars, which is really crazy. And what Chewbacca is that? That Chewbacca, where is it? Is oh, the that's the blue, blue chrome one. Chewbacca. Yeah, cool. That one's really great. I love it. Um, so many neat figures. And just this one photo here, guys. And he also has a bunch of other photos as well. Um, some larger figures here. I also see um, the, Pokemon. the Eevee and Friends oh, ones. Those, yeah. those ones look really great. It's hard to see them, but it looks like you've got all three of the ones that have come out so far. Mm -hmm. um, some of the bigger figures, like the Iron Man and the Hulk, look really great. Poe Dameron is awesome. Um, and then we also have all of the Futura ones, as well as the ones that we looked at earlier, just a little bit more zoomed out here. Um, all of the Mandalorian ones at the bottom. Just it might really... just be Star Wars. Is I, it an, it's well, just... there's some Marvel ones here I see, like the oh, Iron yeah, Man true, and true, that. True. Um, but a lot of Star Wars. A lot of rare Star Wars ones to that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Pokemon as well. The Pokemon look great. Gotta love the Pokemon. Mm -hmm. You guys know I'm a big fan of the Pokemon ones here. But yeah, really great collection, Jordan. Thanks for sharing. Okay, so the next one's coming in from Kyle. He says he's been a huge fan of your channel and has enjoyed watching your videos. Thank you. I remember when you liked my direct message Ooh. of the Futura Boba Fetts that I found at my Target. I hope you see this email and include this picture in your video. It took me a long time to set this up nice and neat <laughs> for a picture. Yeah, we understand that. I, I totally get it. I included about half of my collection. Oh, wow. The most valuable pops I own are the Marty McFly with DeLorean and Donald Trump. That's a good We, we it have is, those it, as well. That's a weird expensive one. I don't know yeah. why that one got so expensive. Mm -hmm. I hope you featured this in your video. It would mean a ton. Thanks for your time. Kyle. Kyle. Thank you so much, Kyle, for sending this over. Oh, this it. looks great. I, I do see it. your more expensive ones there. And I think that's the Boba oh. Fett that you sent me. It was the... Um, was he letting you know it was available? Yeah, I yeah. think it was right when it came out. And Mom, you also noticed earlier the Sum Sum. Yeah, what there. is going on in that Sum Sum box? I love that. I think I see all of the Inside Out ones. I absolutely love how you've put that in there and like put them on top of each other like the game. Yeah, that you know looks I mean? really great. I love it. Um, some of the future ones down there. I also see those Hagrid four? and Hutt. Who are those guys with the hats? The Dapper Oh, Dance. the Dapper Dance. Okay. I actually own that set, yep. um, which is a really great one there. I also see the the um, Haunted Mansion ones as Looks well. Great. Yeah. This is a good collection. Great collection, Kyle. Thanks for cleaning it up. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this one's coming in from Jack. I mean, it doesn't have any fun facts, but I do see I something think... that I think is amazing here. Oh, do you see it as well? I do, yeah. Okay, I think you guys can probably see it as well because it's probably on the screen, but it is the Chase Mike Wazowski mm -hmm. from San Diego Comic-Con limited to 480 pieces. Yeah. I actually, hold on, before we continue, I want to look to see how much that, that one's worth. I know, guys, Jack had DM'd me on Instagram one time sending me this one or sending me a photo of it, so I want to check to see how much it's worth. It is, okay, $1,130. <gasps> Are you okay over there? <laughs> Oh it is a crazy cool oh. figure. He told me a story about oh. it. I don't remember it exactly. Um, so I, I'm not gonna, you know, take his story or anything like that. But it was an amazing figure Something when he said it to me. Got it right. His I dad think got it was it. something like that. Yeah. Um, but overall, Jack, you've got an amazing collection. I love the ad icons. I love all the office ones that you've yeah, got. You even have the Jim really Halpert awesome. as Dwight. Um, you've got Prison Mike. Some really heavy hitters here. Some really great ones. Um, but yeah, that Mike Wazowski is really. <laughs> what do you? How do you say it? La piste de resistance. Yes, I think that is. That's um, crazy. It's really amazing, love Jack. It. Thank you so much for sending this in. Yeah. All right, guys, this next one here is coming in from Grant, and I wanted to show this one off because of how huge this collection is. Wow. Look at this thing. I also noticed in the corner there, guys, he's got the Mona Lisa grin one, and now that's the one that Funko put out on their uh, Funko shop, and they only had, I think it was 500 pieces each. And it's I tried yeah. my best to yeah. get one, and yeah. I could not get no. one. It was really tough. Do you it's see? bigger than I thought. I did not think that was going to be so yes. big. You couldn't tell when they put well, it Well, actually, up. that's in the box. Oh, no, it's right in the front there. Look how big That's it in is. the front of the box. Yeah. So it's almost the same size as the box there. Yeah, it's huge. Um, I also see a bunch of the tiny ghosts down there. Gotta love them. Those yeah. ones are all done by Riz O'Brien. He's got the Tiki box from Fun Days last year. Yes, that one's really cool as well. I'm a huge fan of a lot of the stuff he's got here. He's also yeah. got another photo here to show off his pops a little bit better. Now, what's going on with those Freddies? Wow. What's that? Those Freddies are, I don't know if those are custom or if those are like Prototypes? real ones. What um, Grant, if you're watching, please let us know about that. Um, cool. It's so hard to like know every single thing about everybody's collection, especially yeah. when you see cool stuff like that. So yeah, it's really unusual. helpful. That looks like a prototype down below. there. See it? The I white think one? it is. Like a that looks like it. Yeah, yeah that, that totally looks like a prototype. I also see some DIY ones, or not the DIY ones, the Build Your Own Freddies right. um, from the HQ. And I like how he's got lights. See, he's got lights on in his shelf. Oh, yeah. That's I wonder if that really like lights it up at night. 
Yeah, mm. I bet. Very yeah, cool. Really great collection. Thanks yeah. for sending it in, Grant. Okay, our next one's coming in from George. It says, hey, Tristan, Toys R Us kid here from Sully's Mixer. Oh! oh. We wa okay, when we watch Sully's uh, Mixer streams all the time, if you guys want to check him out, Sully, um, who actually works at Funko, he does a lot of streams over there. So if you guys want to go it's check him out. McCracken. McCracken 5, five? I think it is. Yeah. Something like that. Anyways, I've posted it before on Plays my story. Animal Crossing he and does. other games as well. He does. He does a lot of really great stuff. And I'm usually on there chatting. And one um, of the so nicest people in the chat. Is Toys R Us Kids. So we got to check out his collection here. Um, he said, I sent over a few pics of my collection. Hope you enjoy. I have more close-ups on my Instagram if that helps. At toys.r.us.kid. It says, love your videos. Thank you for continuing to make quality content. So this is amazing. I love yes. how clean the collection looks. A lot of the My Hero ones in this wow. first photo here. I like oh. his risers. See, he's got yes. those clear risers. And all of the front ones there are Deku, which looks really great. I didn't know there was that many Deku figures. And a lot of all. dusting. A lot of dusting. Yeah, that is a on. lot of dusting. Ooh. Oh. The second photo here, guys, there's the bare bricks. I see some super plastic figures, some smaller kind of like just vinyl uh, figures, which mm -hmm. I don't know I like them. what they're from, but mm -hmm. I do really like that bare brick sitting in the middle there. Cool. Um, yeah, some really, really great stuff. Like the shelf. Here. Again, I really am yes. loving the shelf. The square shelves. shelves are really awesome. I wish I did those ones, but again, they're too know. they're too hard to keep but up for me. But out especially. of box, he can build almost like a little story in each box. Yes. You know what I mean? A yes, theme, yes. a different theme. I also noticed the Making Fun poster up there, which nice. is really cool. It looks like it's framed as well. Kind and of... look at this. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there, but okay. some old Freddy Funko Wacky Wobblers. Oh, yeah. You know what? He put those on his Instagram that the other is crazy. day. I knew you would love those. And then I like down here where he has, I love those, all the Freddies, you know? Oh yeah, from the, from the you HQ. collect those ones, don't I you? I do, I love those. I think you have all of them or close to all I of them. I close, yeah. Anyways, just close. a really great collection. Thank you, George, for sending this in. Yeah, thanks. Okay, next one's coming in from Andre. This is my Funko Pop collection that I started by seeing your channel. Thanks, you're the best. Now this one here I wanted to put in because this looks like a Funko Pop man cave, I guess you could say. Yeah, like just, just an entire room of collectibles because I see the couch down there. It's probably for movies. It's probably like Maybe. a movie could watching be like, room. Yeah, like a little yeah. movie theater or something yeah. like that. I see some Lego up top there. Also the 18 inch Batman. The shelves look really nice as well. I like how clean those look mm -hmm. um, with the and lights. And they've got lights in them. Yes, yeah, they do. The they light. do have the LED yeah, lights. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I also noticed guys in the bottom. Yeah, did you see that guys in the bottom right corner? There's a huge Mario Kart figure. Neat. I'm not sure what that's from, but that's really awesome. I see a space shuttle up there. Or... I think that's Lego. Yeah, I maybe yeah, it looks like it's I'm Lego. Great. Um, some really great pop rides as well. Some Rick and Morty stuff as well as uh, what else? We got some Marvel, some little DC, some Disney. Just a little bit of everything, and I love yeah. it. We love the shelves. For yes. Sure. This one says, hey Tristan, you were asking on Insta to see some people's collections, so I decided to send in a picture of mine. Videos were too large to send over Gmail, so I couldn't do those. Sorry, the quality isn't great. No, these look fine. Phone camera can be bad sometimes. I mean, here's the thing, it's completely fine. I just really want to see what you guys have. Um, I know you and Noah also enjoy Pokemon cards, so I included pictures of my sealed collection. Whoa. Um, if you want more photos of specific items, just let me know. Or if you ever want to discuss Funko or Pokemon, just let me know also. Only if you want, though. Hey, that'd be great. Maybe someday we could do that. Um, his Instagram is Cap underscore Mac if you guys want to check him out as well. Um, but yeah, there's some crazy cool stuff in here. And this first yeah. photo that he sent over, I see the, um, who is this down there? Slee Stack from Land of the Lost. That's a wacky wobbler? That is an old wacky wobbler, cool. yes. Um, I also noticed, I wanted to see if we can find the Pokemon figures that he had been mentioning, or just Pokemon cards, sorry. Um, okay, look at this, guys. A lot of <laughs> old, really great stuff. Now, you might not know too much about this I stuff. Don't, I don't, But I do see some that down here are graded um, which I actually have to get a card graded soon. I, I, it's for a video coming soon. Um, we'll be talking about that one in a bit, which Very will be on the cool second though. channel. But yes, this is an amazing Pokemon collection. Thank you so much for sending this over because I never thought we'd yeah. be getting this today. I really like, again, the shelves. I like how they're organized. Oh, yes. The, the way you kind of made them. Oh, now look at those. Those are white floating shelves, like like the ones you have in the other room, so I they, think. I think they sell those ones at I think they um, do. Yisk as well. This yeah. is a great collection Ikea. as well as the great shelf there. Um, but yeah, they look really great. I also like how you space them out just enough to Well, that's what I was just going to say. Yes. That's the beauty of getting those floating shelves. You can put them as close as you want so right. you can fit it for the size of the box. It's really easy it's just to move them cool. up or down. I mean, once you put them in the wall, it's hard to take them off. Um, no but, you know, if you want to, like, level them out and make sure there's a little bit of room for each pop, it I looks love great. That. great. Um, yeah, big fan yeah. of the way you did this. Well done. 
All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, guys, follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you guys want to stay up to date for this video because I will always be posting it on one of those platforms so I can let you guys know when to send them in. But if you guys want to get a little bit of a head start, maybe tophubsvids at gmail.com. You guys can send them in. Take some cool photos of your collection. Maybe if you guys want to make a nicer setup. Because here's Couple the thing, those, though. Yeah. Some of these are amazing, but I only gave you guys a day to send them in. So if you yeah. guys want to maybe, like, take some time, make a crazy cool setup yeah. so you guys can send in some awesome photos, totally do that i would love to see what you guys can come up with but anyways that's gonna do it for today hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more from i want to be in the next time you do yeah it was really check fun. them out okay I, cool it was yeah. really fun yeah you guys have some really great collections mm -hmm. as well as some other stuff that i didn't expect to see like bear bricks pokemon cards we saw some fig bins in there i love the shelves i'm all yes. over the shelves and the setup of the shelves well I definitely i've always love had it. these shelves right yeah so, you so we don't see different things you made a face like it was boring well it, it, i'm saying but they're I mean, all they, the same to be honest yeah. though they, they kind of are because i need to put as many but the things uniformity is attractive as well people are always saying yeah. where did you get your shelves right 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 but i just like seeing what other people oh do. of course people get very creative with their collections but anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from both of us in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops, Pop Stairs. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. I think I said the outro three times now. That's all right. Anyways. It was good. It was really fun. Yeah, yeah. Bye, it was guys. super fun. It was great. Yeah, I really like that. More fun than I thought it would be. Really? Yeah.